Community Edition Sports presents from Garden City High School in Garden City, Michigan, Cougar Soccer. Tonight, the Cougars will take on the Eagles from Romulus. Hello and welcome. I'm Evan Chapman alongside Christian Gibbons, who will be referred to as Gibby from here on out. We have an interesting game so to uh, show you today. We have Garden City coming in today as 5-5 five and five in their overall record, but they are unbeaten so far in the Western Wayne Athletic Conference. Now, they're a young team. They're growing. They're learning how to play with each other. And about halfway through the season so far, although most of the rest of their games are conference games in the WWAC. And as you can see, they're all lined up there, getting ready to take the pitch for this game. Romulus is grouped up, looking to uh, have a little powwow before they get started. Today, game time temperature is 58 degrees here in Garden City, Michigan. Very cloudy, overcast day, but I have to say this is a perfect day for soccer. Not too cold, not too warm, just that right uh, Goldilocks temperature, as, uh, as I'd like to say. And they're showing uh, starting lineups now. Cheyenne Tomlin, midfielder. It'll be interesting to see how many sophomores, freshmen uh, get to play today. This, this team does have a good, solid core of older girls, uh, seniors and juniors, especially leading goal scorer Madison Lilla and uh, second or leading assist giver uh, Lindsay Yankansky. And uh, it'll be interesting to see how many freshmen and sophomores are able to get into the game. It'll be interesting, Evan, because, you know, I have the luxury of seeing these girls uh, grow over the last few years. And Madison Lilla really sticks out to me. She's going to be a heck of a player when she goes into college. We talked to uh, head coach Jeff Sapula earlier before the game, and he uh, said that Madison, or I'm sorry, that Lindsay will be uh, going to IPFW after she graduates. So it's it's really nice to see juniors taking the initiative and getting into that college hunt early. Um, you talked about the weather. The weather earlier today wasn't as favorable as it is now. It is chilly. It is cold. But you know, the wind hopefully will die down soon. And we should be ready to have a great game tonight here on Omni Edition Sports. It was as, you, as you see the wind on our uh, flagpole. Yeah. the flag standing almost straight out. It was a strange day weather-wise. Um, there is some weather expected. Possibly we might get some rain. Who knows? It's always a little bit of a coin flip or a toss-up uh, as to that. So we are just about ready for the kickoff. The referees getting themselves in position. And here we go. The game starting here in Garden City. Garden City starts opening with the kick, and uh, I'd like to talk about Romulus for a second. They have a lot of girls that were sick or are injured. Uh, I'd count five names that we have here on our list of girls. Good save there by the Romulus keeper. Yeah, apparently there's a flu bug going around Romulus High School. We uh, talked to the coach before the game today, uh, head coach Allison Reese. Mm -hmm. And she let us know about exactly what the, uh, the deal was with uh, Romulus and uh, their, you know, little lack of players that are ready to go today. So could be a short bench for Romulus, and we'll see how that uh, plays in. Misplayed ball. Garden City goes in. Speedy One Madison. Just got caught up in her shoes there for a second. And, yes, that was... Castillo on the left there, able to get in behind the Romulus defenders. Ball out of bounds. Throw in for Garden City. Garden City pressuring already, really able to get some, wow, A good Great cross. opportunity there. Offsides though, apparently. And uh, it will be Romulus' kick. 
and that that is a tandem that I have seen grow over the years. Uh, Ian Kasky right in there on net, getting some chances. Sheridan has six goals this season. Mm -hmm. And I think the more impressive thing, in my opinion, is her five assists. Uh, always, uh, always good to have that ball distributor. And here she goes again, out on the left side. Good cross coming, I'm sure. Well, she just passes back, open. Garden City not really shooting the end, just wide. Just wide on that shot. And that was uh, Tomlin, the senior midfielder for Garden City. Goal kick for Romulus. Very nice day in my opinion. A uh, little windy maybe, but nice day for soccer. The wind shouldn't affect them too much. You know, this isn't uh, this isn't football where you can't throw the ball if it's too windy. You know, the ball uh, it'll stick around. Romulus losing possession, taken over here by Garden City, and here goes Castillo, one man to beat, up over the goalie and scores. Very nice pass from the midfield up to Castillo, and she uh, she puts it away. It's a, a nice, beautiful play that got set up just past the half, and you could see them working their way, working together as a team, like Coach Pula was talking about earlier. <laughs> yes. made, that, made that opportunity happen. And Garden City playing in a, looks like a 2-4-4 four, four formation. And, uh, but you will see Yankaski moving up on that left wing. Uh, she kind of roams around a lot, figures out uh, where she wants to go. Um, but she, uh, she definitely plays all over the field. Romulus, a little, uh, little mistake there on the kick. Here's Lilla on the right side, looking to uh, send it inside. It's number two, Outlaw, in the midfield. And gobbled up by Romulus, the Romulus keeper. Ball kicked out there by Romulus's keeper. Garden City regains possession. It's Clendenning passing it up. Castillo now has it, and she's been very dangerous so far. Yeah, very early you see the speed of Castillo. Mm -hmm. And uh, she is a junior here at Garden City. She's got four goals now, two assists coming into this game. All right, you wanna see that goal? Here goes nothing. All right. And We've got a replay now, the Castillo goal, in the back of the net. I'd like to thank all our volunteers here at Omni Edition Sports. Uh, they really do a fantastic job. Um, and a special thanks to, to my boss, Dan York. He does wonderful here. Dan York's uh, celebrating 30 years of service here in Garden City. Our 30th year here at GCTV. And it a uh, wonderful, wonderful uh, time it has been here at Omni Edition Sports. I know I've been uh, very happy to be a part of it. And now we have Lilla crossing over Yankaski, heads it in. Oh my gosh, lovely ball. The goalkeeper for Romulus could not get to that one. Just over her head and uh, Yankaski, like I was saying, she's all over the field right there to put that one away. 2 nothing, Garden City. You never know where she'll pop up. She's <laughs> no, you do not. And uh, so she pots another one for herself. So that puts her up to seven goals, five assists. Uh, leading point getter on that this uh, Garden City team. Tied, though, with Lilla. Although Lilla gets an assist on that one for the cross, so I guess not. We're not we're not uh, big on math here at Omni Edition Sports, are no, we, Gibby? No, math, math is not much. <laughs> that is for sure. All right. Garden City still attacking. Romulus keeper Alan Cook, the sophomore 
for Romulus, playing keeper, able to get to that one. Garden City able to control play so far here, really not been on their heels. Uh, I think um, the goalkeeper for Garden City, Pickens, ooh, looked like maybe a foul there, but uh, the ref lets him play on. Doesn't look like Pickens is going to have a whole lot to do today. She might just be uh, sitting back there. Throw in for Romulus out off of uh, Garden City. And before we get too far along, I just want to let you know that mm -hmm. if you want to see some great videos that some of our mm -hmm. team have put together for our 30th anniversary, you can go to YouTube, and you need to YouTube OETV30. Yeah, there's some, some wonderful videos. See some great moments. Goal! How did I know? Wow. Once again, Garden City just able to get inside the 18 of Romulus and put one away. I think that was Castillo again. Able to get that one, but uh, it's looking uh, all one-sided so far here. Three-nothing Cougars. Garden City on top. Romulus about to take the kick. Uh, just to finish that point, Gibby, uh, there are wonderful videos. I've seen them. I helped make some of them. You're in some of them, I do. I probably am. More than I am. <laughs> well, this is this is new for you, right? Is you know, this, this is this is new for you. You know, getting to do color. And you know what? I'm glad you're you're having some fun with me today, sitting here. Looks like out there off of Romulus. You'd much rather be up here than down where Brett George is, our handheld <laughs> operator. That is for sure. Yeah, he'll be okay though. He's tough. He's tough. If any of us can sit through the uh, Santa Land Parade as cold as it is then, you know, and run a camera, you know, this is uh, this is a breeze. Yankaski on the outside there, inside to Castillo. Nice give and go there. Yankaski bringing it in, looking to cross it. Romulus defender able to get in the way with that. That was Leonard, Romulus's sweeper and we got to have an interesting conversation with her. I think that that's about as, as close as I can come the to. The Romulus players were very pumped up before the game. They were all in. They were excited. Headed. Oh, wow. That was just wide. Lilla not able to get back to it. They were. They were very excited. Um, I, I think that just might be just because they're high school girls. You know, I think they get excited about a lot of things. In any case, uh, very interested to talk with her. Uh, she was very vocal about uh, telling us. We asked them uh, if they had anything interesting that they'd like us to mention on the air. And uh, she said that she that she does not like her cat. She has a dog yeah, and a cat. We'll, she doesn't like her cat. We'll tally that for her. She's a high school girl. Well, we'll just leave it at that. Okay. All right. So Garden City still controlling play here. Castillo unable to get to that one, but kicked out of bounds by Miss Leonard, the sweeper for Romulus. Garden City throw. Put into a dangerous area. A lot of 50-50, oh, squirts out, but able to be gathered up. Wow. Romulus did right work for that one. Yeah. Well, as a keeper, I played when we were when I was a kid, and as a keeper, you always worry about kick, getting kicked in the face on one of those. That's uh, and I was kicked in the face before. Um, in fact, I remember a story that you know from the boys' game we did last um, earlier this year, last year, last year. Excuse me, in the fall, and uh, Garden City's keeper had taken a knee to the face, lost a couple teeth. They had to put him back in, and yeah, no fun, no fun. I'm sure. Yeah, Nick Stevens was not feeling his best after that kick. Garden City throw. Controlling play. Shot, oh, just over, over the net. And unable to connect on that one. So Romulus goal kick here. With about 10 minutes gone in the first half. Garden City up. Three to nothing on this cool spring day. And I have to say it's a heck of a lot better than all the crummy weather we went through this this winter. Garden City still 
able that one is booted probably not going to be able to get on the end of it it's number two outlaw who seems to be ranging a little bit further uh, towards the Romulus net than uh, she had been earlier in the game I assume that that's uh, some sort of function of how much play has been happening oh wow very nice cross by Yankaski just could not get on the end of it the Garden City striker who I don't think that <laughs> must be a sub number 16 here and that's Booker playing up on the front with Castillo and Piers Lilla has sat down Garden City seems to be so confident they're going to keep play out of their half. Their defenders are playing at the midline, which is usually a rarity uh, in soccer. Your defenders don't usually go that far. They stay just inside your half. Yankaski, on the end of this pass, one man to beat, kicks it just wide with the left foot. Now... That was one thing I remember from the game last year that we did uh, for Garden City Girls. Uh, Yankaski, uh, we were told by the coach, Jeff Sapula, that she has a wonderful left foot. Both feet, very good, and uh, that's um, one of those things that is indispensable. If you're a coach and you have a player that can kick it with both feet, indispensable. Out of bounds, inside Romulus territory, close to the corner pin and it'll be a throw for Romulus and now a throw for Garden City after that one deflected off the Romulus player Williams got in the end of that one and deflected it Garden City looking to throw this one deep into the 18 this is a word on the throw. Oh, she throws it short. Looks for her to play her to win a one-on-one -on -one battle. Crossed in. Garden City unable to get on the end of it to shoot, but Yankaski comes up with it. Still battling and picked up by Alan Cook, and the pressure diverted for now. I think one of the things that I'd say that Romulus might want to do here is instead of kicking it out, maybe roll the ball out to one of your defenders and carry up the field because here's a chance. Oh, wow, right through the goalkeeper's legs, and that's a goal for Garden City. 4 nothing Garden City, 13 minutes in to this game. Wow, that was a, a slow roller. Didn't even know if it had the... The, the speed to make it into the goal, but just uh, trickled in, and, uh, you know, I don't think she'll give that one back. You know, I think she's okay with it. Well, Chelsea Booker making things happen, pushing the defense as much as she can, getting the ball through, and the goalkeeper just unable to make the save. Yeah, very good job there by Booker. Two assists so far on this season. Well, that's her first goal, so she might want to uh, she might want to keep that ball if they got to do that you know like uh, Curtin City alright and here's the replay Booker going in and just slow roller nobody can get to it ends up in the back of the net replay there that was wonderful and we have a foul, it looks like, on Garden City. It's going to be Romulus Ball being kicked here on a free kick. Now, earlier I said that I think the goalkeeper should not try to kill it down the field, pass it, and maybe you know, see if you can get somebody to dribble. This is a perfect opportunity for that. You know, get a player running down the line outside and kick a short ball and let him let him dribble. Garden City's defense has been very stout and has turned away every Romulus uh, attack so far. And here's Booker again. I think we're going to get 
a decent amount of um, players run through for Garden City. Um, I'm sure with a 4 nothing lead that Coach Sapulo would be interested in subbing a lot. When it goes back to what you said about the teamwork aspect of the game and getting the girls to get to know each other and how they each other plays. Oh, and Pickens able to get up on the end of that one. Uh, first time for Romulus to really uh, put some pressure on, and that could have gone south in a hurry. Yes, just to finish that point, Gibby, yeah, it is very in important for a team. Um, you know, and this is a relatively experienced team, but, you know, the juniors... Uh, and Chelsea Booker is actually the only sophomore on the team. Uh, they're going to be the people called on next year, uh, and they need to get to know the freshmen and the, you know, the sophomore that are playing, and learn to play with them. And so this is a perfect opportunity in a game that's uh, for nothing so far. Ball out of bounds. Garden City throw. Very very long throw there from number 14, Clendenning. And that was uh, that was very good. That's one of those things, very underrated aspect of soccer. You don't think about the hands, ever. But a, a player that can throw the ball as far as this, Yankaski gets on the end of that, unable to bury it. A player that can throw it that far, she just made a chance right there, out of, you know, out of a, a throw. Um, and so that's, uh, like I said, something that I think is a little underrated. Goal kick now for Romulus. <laughs> Alan Cook chips it. Booker on the end of it. And Alan Cook gets it back. Liner almost made a uh, made a goal out of that one. A little different bounce, and she would have been uh, she would have been golden. Here's Yankaski again. Sneaking back up into play. Mm -hmm. crossed good play by the Romulus keeper to get out on that one Haley Griffith with great pressure there really able to get in behind the defense and stay on side of course because that's the very important um, and able to make a play on the ball very good job by Alan Cook to thwart that attempt as it were Here's Griffith again, passes it inside. Good give and go. Shot. Back post. Beautiful oh my shot. gosh. Just too far to the <laughs> side. That would have hooked. That would have looked beautiful. That was that had to be about four inches out, outside of the post. And Yankaski almost got on the other end of it and put it in. Just couldn't. Just uh just a little too close to the uh the goal line to put it away. Alan Cook kicks it out. And here's another look at that goal. See how this close it was. Oh, it was inches. Mm -hmm. Very close. That had close. been inches from another goal for Garden City. Alan Cook has the ball now, kicks it out. But Garden City gets on the end. See, those are 50-50 balls, we like to call them. 50-50 balls, which means anybody can get it. Uh-oh, here's a chance. Cook playing a little more aggressive now. She was staying back a little bit, coming out and grabbing that one. But these are all 50-50 balls. Either team could come up with them. So... You're giving up possession to try to get it out of your zone. Booker here. Cook able to come out on that one, too. Alan Cook, very, very good job. She's been busy. She's, she's been, been busy. very busy. And like you said, she's been a lot more adventurous, mm -hmm. I guess you would say, coming out. Aggressive, yes. Out of the six-yard box. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but, I mean, it's, it's, it's important. Very good move there. Nice pass. Unable to get on the other end of it was Garden City. That's number three liner. Uh, starting to show that, you know, she can she can score too. You know, she's uh she's putting some good pressure. Near giveaway there by Garden City, but Solomon able to keep it for Garden City and, and not give it away. Cougars playing good patient possession soccer. Here's Griffith on the outside. 
Looking for a shot. Unable to get it, but then she puts it on just wide again. How many how many close chances are they gonna get? So that's Sultana, number 12, who had the chance there. And she is one of, uh, as Jeff Sapula told us, the talented freshmen that Garden City has. Yeah, the, there's three freshmen on this team, and, you know, they're fit, this team is filled with seniors, but you've got some young talent coming up through the system. And one thing that is always important um, in soccer, especially in high school, is there's a lot of subbing. So if you have talent at the end of your, your bench headed, if you have talent at the end of your bench, uh, it really bodes well for when you know players need to blow. Shot, scores! That's Sultana, just the one we're talking about. Able to get on the end of the, the talented freshman for her second goal of the year. And that's 5-0 Garden City. Very good play. I mean, of course, set pieces, very important. Take that shot, that, that corner, ball bounces around, not quite cleared, brought back in and, and put it in the back of the net. Goal. And here's a replay of the goal. Sultana takes the it's ball and drills play. it into the top left-hand corner. Goalie couldn't get there in time, and it's golden, as they say. Yes. And if, uh, if this was hockey, that one would have knocked the water bottle off the top. I know it's not, but I just love that phrase, so I'm going to say it. Garden City here playing very good football. Here's Lilla with a pass down the line just out of bounds. Garden That's City's a throw for Romulus. And yes, Lilla's back in the game. As well as Castillo enjoyed the, uh, the play. And interestingly enough, Yankaski has not come out yet. A lot of the players on Garden City have have subbed in, subbed out, that I've noticed. Yankaski hasn't. She's been on the field this whole time. Romulus takes the throw. Lula unable to come up with that one. Close play here. The edge of the pitch. That's Williams. And looks like we're going to have a sub for Garden City. Out comes Sultana. And in comes number two, Chelsea Outlaw. And throw in here for Garden City. That's Leonard preventing the rush there. And Romulus throw. And Leonard is playing a pretty darn good sweeper. That is not an easy position to play, and probably one of the most important positions on the field for a soccer team is that last line of defense before the goalie. It's, uh, usually you put somebody there that's, that's pretty fast that can recover if they get out of position. Here's a throw for Garden City. Ball bouncing around a little bit. Here's Lilith, Lilla, excuse me, able to split the defense, passes it outside to Yankaski, passes it in and shot, oh wow. Couldn't Just get her foot under it, couldn't get the speed she needed to get that one in. Not enough power on that one. And he, Alan Cook able to come up with it. Romulus now moving into Garden City territory for a moment until play is cut out. Here's Lilla playing out wide, beats the defender, puts it on goal, hit it right at Alan Cook. Good play by the keeper, good solid um, safe hands. Get a hold of that one, not let it slip through her fingers because uh, that can happen. Garden City here still dangerous. And Romulus doing their best to push into the Garden City zone but uh, Garden City's back four playing very okay, safe football. Feet, uh, Ian Kasky gets that throw in Contested a little bit by Romulus. 
Okay. And this might be the beginning of a so little bit of a little bit of a rush here. Garden City unable to get out on the end of that throw or kick. Here's a throw here for Romulus. And that was Clendenning. Just not quite able to get on the end of that one. Throw in here for Romulus. Boot it around a little bit. And that'll go back to Squires who corrals it. Passes it up to Demopolis. And here's Romulus able to get in a little bit of a break. That's Matthew's shot, not on the frame. Good chance though for Romulus. And I think that's the second time we've seen them be real dangerous here. Um, but obviously Garden City's been controlling play so far today. A little mix up, we had two balls on the field. And uh, it's not uh, quite how you play this game, but looks like we're getting a sub here for Garden City. Coming in, that's number eight, I believe. Tomlin. Boots one and looks to get it out of her zone. Romulus, though, still able to keep the ball some pressure on Garden City a little bit. And that'll be a throw for Romulus. Sometimes it's difficult when you don't have that for sure throw in person. You know, everybody looks at everybody else like, oh, well, are you going to take it? Are you going to take it? Tomlin corrals that one, bounces it off the Garden or the uh, Romulus attacker, Matthews. And Garden City controls the ball able to move it out of their zone. And now we have a little bit of a rush on for Garden City, Yankaski, looking to get on the end of that one, does. Dribbles around a little bit, Castillo. Wow, she's just quick. And Yankaski coming in, Ellen Cook able to get on the end of that one. Yankaski's attempt thwarted. And that was a nice little give and go, passing play between Castillo and and Yankaski, as the ball dribbles back to Alan Cook. And Castillo, with that speed, reminds me of a player like Madison Lilla who can get to the ball fast and get the ball down the field fast to her player Yankaski to set up the play for the goal. Mm -hmm. Yeah, speed, uh, they say speed kills, and uh, in this game it certainly does, uh, especially for players uh, that are playing out wide like Yankaski is, like Lilla has been. Um, so far this game uh, playing out wide you know you can get down there and, and send crosses in if you have uh, tall center forwards or uh, or even strikers that are maybe not as tall but good at getting their head on the ball you definitely help here we go Lilla does not can't get it but ball still in and Kasky shoots off the defender and Alan Cook able to get to that one that was a uh, dangerous little chance for Garden City. And Griffith able to get to that one off the goalkeeper's foot, but knocked away by Matthews. Off Garden City there, and it will be a Romulus throw. And that's number three, Carter, the junior for Romulus, who we did not have the pleasure of speaking with. thrown in directly at the Garden City player and kicked directly out. Romulus throw, still 5-0 Garden City. With, uh, just over 10 minutes to go in this first half. Romulus throw again, moving it down the field. If you can keep moving it down the field that way, throw it in, bounce it out <laughs> off the uh, opponent. That'll work. Work. Romulus knocks that one out, so it's a throw for Garden City, and we'll get a sub here real quick. Looks like Lilla's coming out, coming in. Can't quite see her number yet, but I'm sure we'll figure it out. Number 18 for Garden City, and that's Solomon. 
And uh, she's normally a defenseman, but she's coming in here for Lilla playing offense. So, you know, she probably poked the coach, you know, in the side and said, hey, can I go in and, and play offense? And uh, good first touch, but unable to keep up with it. Here's Castillo. And look at that speed. Castillo Turns going on in on goal. And the shot, it's in. Wow. Very impressive from Castillo. Goal for Garden City. That's 6 nothing. Castillo has that next level. She can just turn it on, turn the wheels on, as they say, and just shoot right through the Romulus defense and get that one in for Garden City. And what is it? Is that her second goal or third today? I haven't, I haven't been keeping track. Third goal for her today. That's a hat trick. That's that's what that's what they call a hat trick. Very very nice. And uh, we were just saying earlier, speed kills, and it uh, definitely killed on that one. See as you here. see here, Castillo gets the ball and she just turns it on right there. Gets the ball and she takes it in a one shot right over the hand of the goalie and in. Very very nice for Castillo. And here on the outside is Solomon. Like we were saying, she's a de defenseman, but trying her hand at striking for a little while. Although she is playing more of a kind of wide, right, right forward. Well, and, 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 and this game gives the coach to, a chance to see where players fit in. If you have some players on your roster, the younger players, get them into different positions, see where they fit in with the team that you have now. Looking towards the future, the team you'll have next year with the seniors moving on. Yep. And I, I know I said that Yankaski hasn't left yet. Now she and now will. she has. Yeah, now she will go go out and uh, will have a new left striker. That's number 17, Rachel June, the senior who normally plays midfield, who is here playing a little more of a forward. Garden City in and killed over the... Football upright? Yeah, that was a very high rising shot. Didn't get her knee over the ball in that one. And that's one of the things you notice when you lift the ball up like that, you know you're not leaning over the ball and getting your knee really over on your plant foot. And uh, you'll lift it up if you don't do that. So, uh, yeah, so that was number six, Squires, who is playing a different position. Normally she's a defenseman. Uh, maybe that's why. Doesn't have the scoring touch. Maybe that's why she plays defense. But. Uh, good chance, and I'm sure she'll have another one here very soon. And it looks like Castillo is back on defense. So we're having a almost a wholesale switcheroo, as it were. On the outside there, that was June, the senior who has three assists so far this year. Garden City unable to keep the pressure on there, but it looks like they will get possession back here. There's Griffith on the right. Dangerous, dangerous chance here for Garden City. Oh, and the centering pass just knocked down by the Romulus defender. Played back in though. Shot and in. Goal for Garden City. That makes it seven nothing with just under eight minutes to play in the half. And that was number 16. No, that's not right. Number 15 for Garden City. That's Orsett, the midfielder. And here's a replay of that. Nice kick to pass. Another player gets a foot on it, and then Orsett just takes it and up in the top of the net over the goalie again. Garden City with a 7 0 lead. Very nice job by Orsett. You know, when she received that ball, she took that quick step, knew which way she was going to her stronger right foot, I'm sure. Took a step to her right, one dribble, and belted it, put it in the back of the net. Uh, I'm sure they'll take that, and uh, it's very exciting for her. She has yet to score this year, assists or goals, so that'll be her first for the season, and uh, it's uh, good. We're getting a couple of firsts. A couple of girls have had their first first goals so far this year. With an assist by number six, Cassidy Squire. 
Romulus throw on the outside. I'm sure that that was an illegal throw. Uh, <laughs> I think I caught that before the uh, sideline referee saw it. And the rule is you have to have your feet on the ground when you make the throw. You have to have both feet on the ground, yes, when you throw the ball in. And if you don't, then it goes to the other team, which Garden City took this throw and has charged down the field rather quickly. Uh, and now we'll have another throw down close to their opponent's 18. Garden City now threatening as they've threatened throughout this game. That's number 18, Solomon. Oh, nope, she didn't want to take it, I guess. Instead, Clendenning will throw it in, and earlier we talked about how far she can throw. She just threw it almost to the six-yard box. Right into the goalie's hands. Right. But, you know, you were able to get a, get a head on that. That might be in. Garden City still able to get on the ends of those punts by Alan Cook. Those 50-50 balls. And Garden City will just poke it out of bounds. Romulus throw. Garden City really rotating all kinds of different players through in different positions. Fans uh, braving the elements. Right now we have several players playing in different things. And we have plenty of fans that are braving the elements out here, uh, to steal a phrase. Out here in, you know, blankets and hooded sweatshirts. I know I'm wearing a hooded sweatshirt right now. It's uh but it's nice here in the press box. We have dedicated fans here in Garden City. It is cold, it is windy. I'm sure the uh, stands were wet when they came here. Oh, we I'm had, sure they we were. We had a rain shower before the game started. Dedicated fans here in Garden City. And make sure you're one of them. $5 gets you in mm -hmm. to a Garden City sporting event here at the high school. Come and see your Cougars play. And that's for two games, too. That you could, that's JV and varsity. Good to mention that, too. We got the JV uh, team playing Detroit Western before mm -hmm. today's Romulus game. And uh, that's a bargain for sure. I've uh, I've paid that a couple of times to come down here and watch a uh, watch a game. Usually it's for research though, you know. But it's five dollars, well spent. I always have fun, uh, especially talking, you know, bumping into people that I know from around here. The uh, wonderful athletic director Rob Phillips. I always make sure I say hello to him, uh, and you know he does such a wonderful job with uh, all the teams, and you know I'm sure it's a uh, uh, logistical nightmare having this play teams here and this teams here and they're here so he does great a great job with everything uh, so I always make sure I say hello to him Garden City now with a corner kick and that did that go in no that went off the bot yeah, back it went off the back <laughs> looked like it though yeah well sometimes the perspective doesn't always work out when you're uh, you know way up here for a, for a second, I thought that went in because I've seen that happen before where somebody hits, you know, just a nice Gets bend. The, with the wind. Mm -hmm. Oh, not even with the wind in a, you know, day where you just get that nice spin on the ball. Garden City able to get on the end of that one. Oh, she, try, she tries to deke the goalie and is unable to score. That was Sultana. Well, maybe that's a, uh, maybe that's a rookie mistake, a freshman mistake. She is a freshman, but... Uh, I think in that situation, if she had the chance to do it again, she'd pass it across the goal mouth. She had two players on the opposite side that uh, she could have passed it to. And now there's some sort of stop and play. Refing having a conversation with Sultana. Well, they're having a, sh they're letting her shoot here. I don't, I don't understand why this isn't a PK if it's. Oh, they called it an indirect kick from there. Okay, that makes sense. And Sultana puts it over the top. But that was that's a strange call from the the referee there because normally in that situation that is a penalty kick if 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 the ref agrees that the the goalkeeper fouled the forward then that's a penalty kick instead he calls an indirect kick which means that you can't score off of that kick you can't kick it directly in the goal which is why you had the touch by the other Garden City player before Sultana took the shot uh, and actually the interesting. Thanks, Evan. Yeah, the interesting thing about that um, play exactly is you actually have to have, when you touch that ball, it has to make a full rotation. 
So you can't just tap it. You got to touch it enough to make it a full rotation. So kind of one of those quirky, strange rules in soccer, but uh, interesting, at least uh, to my ears. Are you interested, Gibby? And that that's and and I believe that's one of the reasons they call it the beautiful game because it works <laughs> and people fall in love with it. And it is a fun game to watch. It is, uh, especially when your Cougars are up seven to nothing, just under two minutes to play. And here's maybe eight. No, Alan Cook able to get on the end of that one and keep it from uh, ending up in the back of her net. But yes, they do call it the beautiful game. Uh, and I agree wholeheartedly with that uh, determination. Garden City still able to control play. It looks like a foul's been called on Romulus. Not sure why exactly. It looks like they just bumped into each other, but still a foul. Sultana almost able to get on the end of that one. Throw for her, though. Still trying to pressure and make that one more goal which I'm sure all the players on Garden City would like you know I know in games where I maybe got a goal I'd always want another one of course of course you want to score another one but I didn't do a whole lot of scoring I was always a midfield I was a passer Garden City kicking it around a little bit Alan Cook comes up on the end of that one to punt it down. Hope her team gets on the other end. That one, just about 30 seconds left. Garden City still attacking. Oh, and that one bounces off the ref. Yeah, that's a dangerous job there, referee. Not just uh, not just because you can get hit with the ball, but you know, after the game, you got to worry about the fans. Maybe not in this country. Shot. Goal! Right in there. Garden City, 8 nothing, And there's 4.6, oh, 3.9, they changed it on me. 3.9 seconds left in this half. That is about as late a goal as you will see uh, if, you're Nate, if you're not uh, Vinny the Microwave. So Garden City put that one in, 8 nothing. And the freshman gets a goal again. Clendenning gets a goal. So that's uh, two for her on the season, three assists. Very, very good freshman campaign, I have to say, uh, for her so far. And they're not even done with this season. And that'll do it. The horn, the gun, however you want to call it, the very end. And uh, they don't play. Um, here's your game-winning goal. Here's a... Final goal, just up and in, Not and that that's top. it. Garden City loves the top half of the net. Got it right over the goalkeeper once again, and that's your game winner. Mm -hmm. And I think that's uh, um, interesting. They only had one goal that was on the ground, I think. I think all the rest of them were in the air, including the um, acrobatic goal, I think I'll call it, by uh, Jan Kasky, the header that she put in. Well, that's, uh, that's it, Garden City eight. Romulus nothing, and that is the mercy rule here in uh, sports. We'd like to, in uh, MHSA sports, we'd like to thank everybody that was part of the broadcast, Chris Pop, Dan York. Um, Jason Merrow, Chelsea Humphreys. Brett George. Brett George on handheld. We'd also like to thank Eric Volk mm -hmm. uh, for helping us out, set up, setting up early this afternoon. Yes, that's very nice of him. So Garden City Cougars win over the Romulus Eagles, eight to nothing. For Christian Gibbons, I'm Evan Chapman, and this has been a presentation of Omni Edition Sports.